hello guys welcome to my channel and today we are going to learn about lightning record edit form so this video will going to be very interesting so we will see a lot of scenarios that is possible with lightning record edit form and if you have not watched my previous video which is lightning record view form you the link will be in the description you can go and watch it as well so without wasting your time let's jump into the content and see how does it work So I came into my Salesforce org and if you notice here I have created this form which is account detail and this is the title and then if you notice here like uh, the form is divided into two columns like how I did in uh, lightning record view form and then a uh, few more thing to notice here is like I have created the section for some of the fields grouped together and uh, then if you notice here if I click on edit so if I go down so I have kept two buttons save and cancel here and if you save the record like I put this one here and then if I save the record a spinner will come and it will going to save the record for us okay and then if I go here uh, so there is one more thing that I have created is like uh, I have created a validation rule which will check if the field single has value selected as C then it when we try to save the record it will throw the error so this is the validation rule which I have created okay and the error message will come below the label of this field which is single okay so this is the validation rule if I go back and if I try to save the record with single value as C so I'm going to get this error message here like single value should not be C and if you notice the spinner that was coming up it will be gone and it will show the error properly here. Now if I cancel the record it will going to refresh it and uh, the error message that was displaying previously will be gone and the form will be again in the uh, view only mode. So all these things are there so we will uh, see how uh, the code works for this one okay so in the vs code so let's jump into the vs code and see the uh, code so i came into my vs code and if you see here i have on the left side i have created one lwc component which is lightning edit record form and if i go to the js so you can see uh, the code that i have written here so if you notice the first thing is uh, like i have created one list of object which is field list and inside this list of object if i see one of the object then inside this we have first attribute which is level and this will be the api name of the field that we are displaying and then i have created one more attribute which is is section present and this will uh, be basically either true or false if you want to display the section it will be true if you don't want to display the section it will be false and if you are making this true then there is one more parameter which is section name we can keep the name of the section and that will be displayed and if you are making the is section present as false then section name will be blank okay now uh, there are a couple of more uh, variables that i have created the first one is so edit field so uh, this is basically um, at the initial state when the form was loaded so the form will be in the view state form right so at that time the pencil icon will be displayed there okay so this field will going to track that that thing okay now when we click on the pencil icon okay so it will going to call the handle edit function and then it will toggle it so the so edit which was initially as false it will become true and the the section will basically becomes the input section and previously it will be in the output for form so that's how i am basically toggling up the uh, the pencil icon and then there are a few more function like uh, so when we are saving the record right so at that time i am basically uh, running a spinner okay so initially i have made the spinner as false okay and then when we are clicking the handle save i will make the spinner as true and once we are having the value of uh, like once the record is basically saved 
so at that time handle success will be called and it will make the spinner again as false because the form will be saved now and in at that position i am making the show edit field as false as well because i again want to show the pencil icon okay and if there will be some error while we are saving the form then in, at that case we we will basically call another uh, function which is handle error okay and in that case i am basically making the spinner as false again because we want to stop the spinner and then uh, the so edit field will again become true because at that time the error will have come up so uh, it will it will still in the state of the input because they because the record has not yet saved okay so uh, that is how they have created all the functions and uh, there is one more thing like i have created two more attribute which is record id and object api name so this will basically take the id and the api name of the object where we place this lightning web component so in our case we are going to place this in account so account record id will come up here and the api name of the account will come up here that's why we have decorated with at the rate api so that's all in the js section now we are going to uh, uh, see how i have designed the html form so this is my html form and uh, here if you see the first thing here is like i've created a lightning card with the title as account detail okay and then we are having the spinner okay so this is spinner uh, so uh, so i i'm having the spinner variable here so basically if it is true the spinner will display and uh, if it is false the spinner will go away and the variant i have chosen is brand because i want a blue spinner okay the next thing is like uh, i'm having the lightning record edit form so here we are having the record id and the object api name okay and then i am having two event here the first is on success and the another is on error so these two method will be called based on if the form is in success state or is or it has thrown any error now going to the third line which is lightning message so this will ensure that it will display the error message so uh, in our case when we are saving the form and if it was having a validation error so it has displayed the validation error message right so this will ensure the message will come up there okay and then in the next line i am having a div and i'm using the sls grid pattern and where we are basically wrapping up uh, uh, the field so if it is more than two fields in the same uh, in the same uh, row then it will going to wrap it and the other fields will display in the next row and then also i am having a padding around it so this will ensure will have a proper width between uh in between a single row okay now uh, the next thing is like i am having a loop here template for each loop and then i am using this field list okay so this field list uh, is the list of object that we have initialized in the in the js part okay and then field is the item for here now now the important thing here uh, so we are having one two three four four div here okay so the first div is basically it belongs to the section name that we are displaying in our form so this is the section name okay so this is for that div okay go back so this will going to display the section here but this div has having one condition which is if is section present is true then only it will going to display the section with the section name okay now uh next two div i i will keep it together because these two things are displaying the output value or the uh, form which is in the view state okay so lightning output field is used here so display the field uh, form in the view state okay and then lightning icon is used here to display the pencil icon so these two things will always stay together if you go in the form and you can see this is the uh, form uh, with the field and then the icon here okay and the form is in the view state 
right so uh so i have basically used two a uh, div here and also the condition of both the div will be same which is if so it, it is false then only we are displaying these two div together okay and one more thing to notice here is like i am using 5 of 12 size here and i am using one of size one of 12 here because if you combine both of them it will become 6 of 12 and that's how we will display uh, the field with uh, icon together okay and if this is not false which means it is true then we are going to display this particular div and it will have the lightning input input section here okay so this input form will basically display so either these two will run together or this will run at a time so that's how uh, the whole thing will come uh, the loop will run and it will display now uh, if i go here in the line 25 so here you can see uh, I'm having a div and I'm aligning it into the center. I'm using SLDS align absolute center to uh, align both the button in the center. Okay. And this will only display if the so edit is field is true because when we, when the so edit field will be true, the form will display in the input form. And at that time we want to show the submit button. Also we want to show the cancel button. And in cancel button, I am also having a padding which is a small padding I have kept it here to have some gap between submit and the cancel button and then when we click on the handle save button it will basically save uh, the form and it will basically uh, run the spinner so if I go here handle save it will basically run the spinner the spinner will be true and it will save the form and it will then call the handle success because form has been saved and then the spinner will become false and so it will also become false and the form will again become in the view state so that's how the whole uh, uh, form will going to run so i think this is uh, like uh, a little bit complex but it's it's basically uh, the whole thing is dynamic so later if you want to add some more field here you just need to uh, put the field level this the object here like you have to put the field name field api name and then if your section is required or not and the section name and you can keep adding on it and it will automatically uh, display the form uh, okay so that is the thing and uh, one more thing i want to say here like i have kept is section present as true here so it is displaying the section title here if you see master detail okay but for the second time i am kept a section as false and that time the section name is blank also so so for the first one it displays the section and for the second field it will not display the section because uh, both the fields are together and we want to have only one section here so that's how it will going to display and similarly this in the second i have kept the section is present is section present at true and the section name will be there so you can group it uh, with two or four or three or five so whatever you want you can group it together and then at uh, in the start of the field like the first field you can keep the section name and uh, is section present as true then it will automatically uh, group it and it will display the form so i think uh, pretty much for uh, today's video okay I hope you have understand it and if you have any doubt you can put the comment and uh, i'll be happy to help you so in the next video we will see lightning record form and uh, if you like the video do subscribe our channel and thank you so much for watching the video